Hello, hello, my friends. A couple of weeks ago, we had National Fragrance Week, and we know all of the brands were doing their best attempt to get their hands on our money. Well, the winner for me that week was Homeworks. Now, if you caught my preview video that I put up prior to that sale, I talked to you guys about what candles I recommended, which ones were on my wish list, maybe which ones to avoid, and I went over like all of the pricing and all of that. To be honest with you guys, I went a little wild, and the reason is, well, it's multi-pronged, I would say, but for me, this was the best sale I have seen from Slatkin & Co. pretty much since Black Friday. I had quite a laundry list of fragrances that I was eager to try or maybe restock on. And in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you all of the candles that I purchased during that sale. Spoiler alert, I made three orders. Now they have that big promotion of what was it? Buy six, buy six, get one, no, buy five, get one free, something like that. It was like buy five, get one free. I think that was the promo. I don't know. It, it's a moot point at this at this point, um, but candles were marked down to like $20. There were some clearance ones for $18.99. Um, I do know that there was a little bit of controversy. I think a couple of orders, um, maybe they oversold on some of those clearance candles and so things were being canceled. But for the most part, I feel like the sale went pretty smoothly. Now, if you are new to my channel, first off, hi, I'm Katie. I love to talk all things candles here on my channel. Um, I am a Homeworks brand ambassador. However, none of these candles were sent to me in PR. These are all candles that I purchased with my own money. Um, and so I'm really excited to share with you what I went ahead and purchased. Like I said, I went a little wild, <laughs> but again, I, I've been waiting for a good homework sale. And to be honest with you guys, my local discount retailers are not carrying a lot of homeworks these days. I, it's been a long time since I've seen any new supply come into the stores. And truth be told, the price that I was able to purchase these candles for during that sale was actually a few dollars less than what I can purchase them for in store because usually it's a little over $18 per candle once I factor in tax when I purchase, say, at like TJ Maxx. Whereas these candles came in a little under $14 each. I was able to use some rewards codes or stack, um, stack my ambassador code with it on, um, it wasn't on the BOGO, like on the buy five, get one, but um, it was able to be used on any other candles. So I tend to be a little bit verbose, so I'm going to try to avoid doing that. If you find yourself wanting to stick around for any more of my content, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, all of the candles that I am talking about will be listed and linked down below for you, as well as have some timestamps there, so that way you can go back and reference each candle that I am talking about. My discount code at Slatkin & Co is Katie's Joyful Life. It will save you 15% on orders over $40 wait for a sale. There's always a sale at some point. <laughs> I don't know when the next one is, but this was a pretty good one. Um, but if you are comfortable using affiliate discount codes, I do make a small commission on that. And I do want to say thank you very much if you have used that code in the past or if you used it during this sale, because the reason why I am I can purchase some of these candles is because um, quite a few of you guys have been kind enough to use my discount code. And oftentimes with the money or the commission that I make on those sales, I usually just turn it right back around and pour it back into my channel. <laughs> my husband's very grateful for that. He's like, good, I'm not having to buy all of those candles anymore. <laughs> um, and so it's just something that I, whatever, you guys, we're not rolling in the dough. You guys know, I already told you that on the uh, spilling the tea video that I did last month, but um, it does enable me to go ahead and be able to make some purchases for my channel. So long enough intro, let's get into this haul. I'm going to go ahead and start out with fragrances that are repurchases for me, um, simply because I think it's kind of fun to start out that way and then we'll finish off on a good note. So the first candle that I repurchased was Lemon Poppy Muffin. Nobody is surprised to see me purchase this candle again because I have been waiting for this candle to come back for a couple of years. Fragrance notes on this candle are poppy seed, lemon zest, baked vanilla, and sparkling ginger. The specific pour date of this candle is September 9th of 2023. And this candle, oh man, you guys, this is a good one. Um, 
I've heard some people say they're like, oh, I don't like the ginger note in here. There is some ginger note in here mixed with the lemon. However, to me, I feel like that actually makes this smell like more of an authentic lemon poppy seed muffin. Um, I, I know some people have said like, why ginger? And then other people are like, well, authentic poppy seed, lemon poppy seed muffins call for ginger in it. I've never made them. I love eating them though. And this smells like you have lemon poppy seed muffins in your home. I already went through one of these earlier. I think I finished that one. Did I finish that in March or February? I can't remember. I recently finished it, um, but I did want another one for my collection. Another candle, let's see, I'm going to try to be playing candle Tetris here because um, fun fact, I have a tile floor <laughs> right like beneath here and I don't want any of them to drop. So the next candle that I went ahead and repurchased here <clears throat> is Farm Stand Watermelon. Now the Farm Stand collection did make a reappearance during the National Fragrance Week and I purchased this candle last year in a duo from QVC. Now, truth be told, that duo was quite disappointing in terms of the strength and throw, but those were 2022 pour dates, and I have made it no secret that for me personally, I did not have a lot of success with 2022 pour dates. Uh, there were more misses than hits, I would say, with that gear. But a lot of the candles that have been poured for me, for me personally, I am finding that a lot of the candles that were poured in later 2023, like the last half of 2023, I've had good performance with. So the fragrance notes on farm stand watermelon are watermelon juice, sweet honeydew, strawberry leaf, and crystallized sugar. I have a pour date of November 1st of 2023 on this. And I do like this pretty little white lid on here. Now this candle to me, it's not as candied smelling as say uh, the Juicy Delight candle from Kringle Candle if you, or Watermelon Pops, it's also known as in Country Candle. It's the same fragrance in two different formats. So Country Candle, it's Watermelon Pops. In the Kringle format in their three wick, it's Juicy Delight. That is more authentic candied Jolly Ranch or Watermelon fragrance. This to me still smells like a candied watermelon, but it's not, not as sweet as that one. I do detect some of that sugar in here. It's like a softer, sweeter, it's like a softer take on a sweet watermelon fragrance. I guess that's the best way that I can describe it. This one's really nice. I did purchase it because I do want it to complement the Juicy Delight. Um, if you are just finding my channel, I am somebody who typically likes to burn more than one fragrance at the same time in my home. So usually I'll burn one here in the living room, one in the bedroom, um, maybe another one in another bedroom, but I like the fragrances to complement one another. And when I'm looking at my candle collection and I'm bringing candles into, into the collection, how many times can I say collection there? I generally am looking for complementary fragrances. This one, I will say on cold sniff, this smells a lot stronger to me than last year's version. So that does have me optimistic. Again, we've got a later 2023 pour date but I am excited to have this one. I do know that um, there's a honeydew note in here and some people are very leery of honeydew. Um, I would say that I do detect a little bit of honeydew, but it's not as strong as say the honeydew cooler fragrance, which I like that scent too. I, I don't mind honeydew. I actually do like that fragrance, but I would give the edge to watermelon. I, I like this one and the packaging is just so pretty. I love this pink gingham that we've got going on here. Sorry if it's a little noisy when I'm um, putting these candles down. I have my microphone kind of like attached to a little stand right here. And anyways, we'll see if that, <laughs> we'll see how this all works out. I hope you guys don't mind too much. All right, the next fragrance that I definitely purchased again, this was one of the candles that I recommended for all of you guys to purchase during the sale, Valencia Orange. Now I should have a dedicated review on this candle coming up at some point here in the month of April. It'll probably be on the back half of this month. But the fragrance notes on Valencia Orange are Valencia Orange, Sugared Lemon, Glazed Vanilla Bean, and Sweet Amber. My pour date on this one is September 9th of 2023. This fragrance is Juicy Creamy Orange. If you like the fragrance Orange Creamsicle, I believe that this is Orange Creamsicle's sister. Um, very, very similar. In fact, last summer I burned this candle and I still had an orange creamsicle left over in my stash. I burned both of them in different rooms. And honestly, you guys, I couldn't really detect much of a, a difference between the two of them. 
This is like a creamy orange fragrance. I do detect a little bit of amber in the background, but this is not like a perfumey cologne type of fragrance in my opinion. It's just, it reminds me of an orange creamsicle, to be honest with you. I, I, I don't know why it's called Valencia Orange. I feel like it should be called Orange Creamsicle because it does remind me of like an orange popsicle fragrance. So delicious, so yummy. But if you want it to be a little bit more like creamy vibes, the other fragrance that I purchased, and I actually bought two of these, I purchased another vanilla bean ice cream. This one also made its return during National Fragrance Week. The fragrance notes are Madagascar vanilla bean, caramel cream, cinnamon, crystallized sugar, poor date of November 23rd of 2023. Now, don't let that caramel note scare you off in here. This fragrance to me, it's vanilla ice cream. Um, you get that creaminess in the background slightly in some weird way. Whenever I first opened this up, you know what it reminds me of? And I remember it, thinking this last year when I purchased this candle, this is a repurchase. I had this candle last summer. When I initially opened it up, it reminded me of, you know, like the, um, the packaged frosting that you buy, like in the tubs on the grocery store shelf, like the Betty Crocker or Pillsbury. When you just have like a basic vanilla frosting and you first pull back that foil lid and you sniff it, that's what this reminds me of. Not cloyingly sweet, but there's something about that vanilla note that I feel like it's very similar. This candle upon burn, I remember it not being like a powerhouse, which truthfully I haven't come across a vanilla fragrance that is just like overwhelming. Wow, this is the strongest vanilla, but it's a noticeable vanilla. And again, it's a complimentary fragrance. I think that this one would blend really nicely with the Valencia orange, or if you have any of the other like fruit type of fragrances, say like blueberry peach, uh, I don't know about watermelon. I don't know if I would really put watermelon with ice cream, um, strawberry, any of those fragrances. If you're looking for like a good uh, creamy, uh, adding that like summertime vibe, you know, summertime ice cream vibe to your candle, you know, burning rotation. This one's a really good one to add. So I did purchase two of these just because I know that I like to burn it as a complimentary fragrance and I won't get tired of it. And then... We also have here a fragrance that I did do a dedicated review on. I purchased this candle. I actually, the first time around, purchased this candle at full price because it was new and I knew a bunch of people would want to see a review on it. This is Pistachio Glazed Donut. Now, the fragrance notes on Pistachio Glazed Donut are crushed pistachio, fried donut, ground nutmeg, and white sugar glaze. The pour date on this one is September 9th of 2023. Now, spoiler alert, I, I don't detect a donut note in here. We all know that Harry is known for coming up with those gourmand fragrances. With He has nailed the fried donut accord. Uh, we all know hot cider donut, the new, uh, what is it, the sugared crepe. Um, I, just, I just talked about that one. Powdered sugar crepe, same family. This is missing that donut accord. However, I do think that this should have just been named pistachio glaze because to me, this is a sweet pistachio fragrance. Um, reminds me of a frosting, but again, it's not overly cloying. And I've already burned through one of these completely. And I will tell you that when this one is burning, it's a unique fragrance. It's not like anything that I've really smelled before in my personal collection. Um, it was really nice. I really enjoy this in the um, spring slash summer. This pairs really nicely if you have Bath and Body Works pistachio and toasted vanilla in your stash, or if you have Kringle Candles Easter brunch, I think that this will pair really nicely with kind of that almond croissant type of fragrance. So I knew that I wanted another one of these. I don't know if I'll burn this again this year, but I did want to hold on to it for maybe late next winter, next spring. Now, um, here's a candle that I hinted at in my empties video earlier this week that I was, that I hauled and we were going to have a little chat about it. So, um, you guys know this fragrance, one of my all time favorites, blueberry cheesecake. I finished burning both of the candles that I had in my collection in the month of March. I wanted another one fragrance notes here. Wild Maine Blueberry, Cheesecake Accord, Blackberry Jam, Brown Sugar Crust. Pour date on this one is June 9th of 2023. All right, so we're having a chat about this one because I'm smelling the lid. 
and I'm smelling the wax. And this does not smell the same to me as the blueberry cheesecake that I have had in the past. And I've already burned through, I think, four or five blueberry cheesecakes. I think something happened <laughs> when this was being poured. Now, I haven't lit it yet, so um, I do plan to do that probably later this month, and I will keep you guys updated. This, to me, I'm missing the graham cracker note, and I'm missing the, like, cheesecake um, accord. Now, I've always talked about that everything that you're seeing on this label here is generally what I usually pick up on this candle. I'm only smelling the blueberry in this. Now, I'm not mad about that. To be honest with you guys, I love how Harry Slatkin does blueberry. He, he nails the blueberry scent. He does it very, very well. However, I'm a little bit disappointed because I know what this fragrance normally smells like. And this, to me, it's not quite farm stand blueberry. It, it doesn't smell the exact same as farm stand blueberry to me because it's missing. There's another note in farm stand blueberry, um, like the cassis. Cassis, Cassis note in there um, that I, I'm not smelling in here. But um, yeah, you guys, let me know. Did you purchase this one? And do you have a similar pour date? I would be really curious to know, was this just a one-off? Did we have a batch issue? I don't know what's going on, but yeah, this one, it doesn't smell the same to me. I, I It's not an unpleasant scent. I will still burn it, but I think something went awry in the factory. All right. And then two other fragrances that you guys might be really surprised to have see that I purchased. I did purchase two candles that were in the clearance section. And here's my reasoning. I am a seasonal burner. I have gotten to the point where I typically do not burn. Um, like I don't really get a whole lot of, um, what would I say? Backups of fragrances that I have liked in the past, unless I know that they are like, Yes, I want that every single season, no matter what new stuff I'm going to be having in my collection. I definitely want another one of those. And there were two fragrances that I feel that way about, and they were both marked down to clearance. And the other reason why I purchased them was because last year when I had both of these candles, they're both fall fragrances. Last fall when I burned them, they burned really well for me. They were strong performers. They burned pretty hot and fast, to be honest with you guys. But regardless, they were strong, they threw well, so I knew I wanted more of them. Also, just a heads up, you guys, I'm filming with my windows open today, so you might hear some birds chattering in the background. Um, so hope you enjoy that little, you know, bird song going on. We've got the sounds of spring going on here. All right, Midnight Moon. Now, funny, you guys are like, Katie, are you, aren't you not really a Halloween girl? And I'm not, I, I, I don't really like the holiday. I don't personally observe it. But this fragrance, I have loved for many years. It, I just come to understand that this is going to be a fall staple in my home. Fragrance, ne fragrance notes of autumn leaves, fresh pumpkin, dark woods, and ginger crystals. Pour date on this one is July 9th of 2023. Now this fragrance, I've always said this fragrance to me reminds me of if, um, if you were familiar with pumpkin woods or... Um, even I would say this is like autumn pumpkin, if you're familiar with that fragrance from Homeworks, got together with leaves from Bath and Body Works. I feel like this is the, the baby that they would create. I love this scent. It's not your traditional Halloween type of like earthy dirt type of smell. This is so nice. It is one of my favorite autumnal fragrances. I burn this September, October. I could even burn this one going into November. It's such a beautiful, perfect fall fragrance. And like I said, um, I think my pour date on this one last year was also a July pour date. So it burned well for me last year. And I thought, you know what? I want to go ahead and add another one back into the collection to have it for this year. And then continuing with the candle Tetris game here. Let's see, reach around here. I also purchased, nobody surprised, Harvest Leaves. Again, this is one of the classic OG fragrances from Hallmark's. Fragrance notes on this one are spiced pumpkin, mandarin, cranberry, fir balsam, applewood. Pour date of July 7th of 2023. So again, it's a similar pour date as the ones I had last year. Oh, I love this scent. Again, it's another one that I can burn anywhere between September through November. Um, you get that cranberry, but you've got some pumpkin in here. 
And it's funny, I've never really thought of myself as really being a cranberry fragrance like lover, but I actually think I am. I've turned into one more. Truthfully, I don't think I really like how Bath and Body Works does cranberry. And I think that's why I was turned off to it for so long. But I do like the way that Harry does it. And I also like the way that Kringle does some cranberry. I would probably give the edge to Harry Slatkin. Oh man, but this one is so good. So I did want to go ahead and have these in my collection. All right, I'm going to take a brief moment to pause and then we're going to go ahead and get into the new to me fragrances that I purchased. Let's go ahead and start with Santorini. Now this is one that was actually on my, I'm not sure if I'm intrigued, but I'm not sure if I want to purchase it. And a couple of you guys chimed in on that recommendations video saying, yes, I think that you would like it. I purchased it. It's a unique fragrance. I think that you would enjoy it. So I went ahead and took the dive. Fragrance notes on this are sea salt, cyclamen, bougainvillea, and olive leaf. I have a pour date of November 1st of 2023. Um, this one is also, it says Santorini, but it also says saltwater sales. So I'm not sure if that was a fragrance that was in a previous lineup. Um, I don't remember a fragrance called saltwater sales, but maybe it was like a QVC exclusive. This fragrance is really nice, you guys. Um, I'm Thank you very much to all of you who encouraged me to purchase this because I really do like this scent. This is, um, it's a unique fragrance. It's not one that I have really smelled before. Um, it's like a, I get like a green note in there. Um, slightly floral, but not like pungent floral. It's like a beachy floral without it being, it's not orange blossom or neroli, which is typically the floral scent that's associated with beachy fragrances. Sea salt, you do get a little bit of like salty air vibe in here. I haven't smelled um, cyclamen or bougainvillea or olive leaf. Those are some different um, type of flowers. I think that those are more, I mean, Santorini, that's obviously like Mediterranean. Um, that's really nice, you guys. And also this label is really pretty with the postcard on it and the sailing ships. Look at that beautiful sky. Fun fact about me, the ocean is my happy place. In fact, next week I am taking a trip to the ocean. I will be on the ocean for a week and my heart is so happy <laughs> at the thought of that. This is really nice, but it's I'm having a hard time describing it. It's not soapy or perfumey. It's, it's green and fresh without it being overly floral. I actually plan to pair this fragrance with, uh, what's the other one in the postcard collection? Not St. Bart's, what's the other one? Palm Beach. I think that those two will complement each other very well. Um, they're unique fragrances for sure. This is one that I see being, um, I, I see a lot of people liking this one. I don't see this being a very polarizing scent. It's beachy, but again, it's not that like traditionally tropical beachy type of fragrance that we kind of know or expect, say, from like Bath and Body Works or I don't know. This is like a sophisticated scent. I really like it, but not sophisticated in like old lady perfumey. It's not perfumey. Sea salt, but like beach florals that you can't really put your, your finger on. There's like a greenery to it. Oh, I really like that one. All right, so thank you very much to all of you who told me to get that one because I do like it. I will keep you updated and posted. Um, I think I might do a little bit deeper dive into what some of those fragrance notes, how they have been described as smelling, and then that might be a little bit better for me when I do a dedicated review for all of you. Okay, another fragrance that I purchased, which you guys seems kind of out of my wheelhouse, but here I am going, going, going uh, outside of the old comfort zone here. Garden Bouquet, first off, this label is stunning. I love all of the beautiful pink flowers on here. Fragrance notes on this one are Night Blooming Jasmine, White Gardenia, Pink Rose, and Honeysuckle. Pour date on this one is October 9th of 2023. All right, I've already smelled all these, by the way. So this, this is gonna sound funny, it kind of reminds me of Bath and Body Works Plumeria, even though there's no Plumeria like note listed here. 
it's what it reminds me of. Just like first impression. That's what I thought. Like, oh, plumeria. I do detect some gardenia in the background, but it's not that white, heady floral gardenia, say like the Kringle Candle gardenia fragrance. This is, it's sweet. It's a sweet floral, very pretty. But yeah, just off the top of my head. In fact, my daughter was wearing um, the Plumeria body cream the other night. And then I got this in and I was like, those kind of give me similar vibe. I don't feel like this is as like headache inducing. Um, I did see somebody else. Who else did I see? I saw another creator saying that he had to um, blow this one out because it was really, really strong. <sighs> Blanking who it was. Um, anyway, said that it was really, really strong. But he also said that he felt like this was very similar to South Seas Gardenia from Hallmarks. And there was another Hallmarks candle that had... Um, like something petals, was it like gardenia petals or something like that? Um, he said that he felt like it was similar fragrances, but I do like this one. If you like Bath and Body Works Plumeria, I think that you would like that fragrance. Um, it's, it's really nice. So I will probably get to burning that one pretty soon. Another fragrance that caught my eye when it was released, I think this is also part of the garden party collection. This is Blood Orange and Sage Gimlet. My friend Melanie did do a review on this one and she actually really liked it enough that she said she would consider repurchasing it. So the fragrance notes on this are Blood Orange, Sage Leaves, Gin, and Lime Zest. Pour date of October 9th, 2023 on this one. And this is nice as well. This is different than the orange that is in that Valencia orange. So that Valencia orange is more like orange popsicle, orange creamsicle type of smell. This is, yeah, the juiciness of a blood orange for, for sure, which I personally, I love blood oranges. I buy them in like the huge bags at Costco and our family goes through them like crazy. I think I buy like a huge bag of that at least once a week. I do detect a little bit of lime in the background on it. I don't really smell anything overly boozy in this. Now, we do know that Harry likes his boozy notes. And I have seen from a couple of other people that have reviewed this candle. Sorry, you guys, hair in the face here. I have seen from a couple of other people that have reviewed this candle that they say that upon burn, that gin note does start to come out upon burn like an hour or two into the burn. But they say it's also not an overwhelmingly boozy fragrance. Yeah, this is nice. This is very nice and refreshing. It's, it's a very like uplifting, vibrant type of candle. That's how I would describe it. I really like that. That was, uh, you guys, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you guys. None of these I struck out on. I like all of the candles that I purchased. So I'm very, very happy, happy with that. All right, here's one that honestly, this is a case of, I saw this on QVC and I was so intrigued just by the packaging because the packaging is beautiful. This is coral poppy. So look at this. I mean, the white lid and this beautiful, it looks like a like English garden. Like I should be having tea or something like that. I should be a fancy lady with my big hat, like on Downton Abbey. I think I should have been on that show. I love that show. <laughs> All right. Fragrance notes of coral poppy, sweet plum, peony blooms, and Meyer lemon. Poor date of November 20th, 2023. So this one, you guys, you know what fragrance note I detect the most on this? Plum. I get that plum note um, similar to the plum note that was in the Possessed Plum from the Halloween collection last year, but it's not, it's not, um, it's not like a repackage. It's not the same type of vibe at all. It's just the plum note. I definitely smell. I do get a floral element to this. But this is a very, what I would classify as a very sweet floral, similar to that garden bouquet. This is a that plum note, um, probably to my friend Brett's dismay. Uh, Harry loves to <laughs> mix fruit and floral together. I personally like it because some florals on their own can be too heady and strong for me. Um, I do detect a little bit of like a citrus note um, in the background, which would probably be that Meyer lemon, but it's very, very slight on cold sniff. Definitely, yeah, like a poppy fragrance mixed with plum is what I'm getting at. Fun fact about me, I actually grew up very, very close to the poppy fields in Southern California um, when I was growing up. In fact, it, they were like along the hillsides, just 
like 10 minutes from where I lived. So very familiar with all of those uh, poppy fields, but that, that's a really nice fragrance. You guys, um, very happy that I picked that one up, especially considering I really was intrigued by it just simply because of the packaging. All right, here's a candle that I think, I feel like this one has been around for over a year, but maybe it came back in different packaging. Um, you guys clarify for me in the comment section if you know. Glazed Blueberry Muffin. So I think this is one of those fragrances that remember the big Black Friday of 2022 debacle? I feel like this is one that a lot of people ordered and they've either got lost or it wasn't included in their orders or it was canceled off of their orders. Fragrance notes on this one are blueberry jam, lemon sugar, fresh pastry, elderberry syrup, pour date of June 9th of 2023 on this one. And yeah, this is good. This, this is a the blueberry note that we know from Harry. I do detect in the background kind of a muffin note in here, but this is a really, really sweet blueberry. I'm thinking that this will probably pair really well. I have um, from Bath and Body Works the um, blue, lemon blueberry sour, blueberry lemon sour, something like that from the candy collection that was around during Candle Day of 2023. I think this will pair nicely with that. It can also probably pair... Um, I think I'm going to try pairing it with the blueberry cheesecake and see how that works. Or it could also probably go with that vanilla bean ice cream. If you have Kringle candles, lemon sugar, marshmallow, I always love lemon and blueberry together. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to have this one. I don't feel like this is an overly unique fragrance, but I like it. I like it well enough. Um, may not be like a total re repurchase, but we'll see upon burn. I may I might change my mind completely. I do like it. It's it's a good fragrance. It's just not anything that I feel like I haven't smelled before. I don't think it's as authentic of a blueberry muffin fragrance as Kringle Candles blueberry muffin, um, but it's nice. I think if that one's that version's a little bit sweeter. Like there, and it says glazed blueberry muffin, so that would imply that the fragrance would be a little bit sweeter than your traditional blueberry muffin fragrance. But if you want authentic blueberry muffin, I'm still going to steer you in the direction of Kringle. Um, their blueberry muffin scent is really, really good. Goodness, this video is getting really long. I'm going to try to wrap it up here. I've got three more candles to talk about. Pink Rum Punch. Now, funny enough, somebody pointed out to me when I posted my picture um, when I had included this in a haul picture over on my Instagram um, and also in the Homeworks Facebook group, someone pointed out that the label, they were very pleased to see that it is a full wraparound label instead of the one that was advertised on the website was that like half label, you know, where they do that like white band. I'm not crazy about that label. I mean, it is what it is, but Fragrance notes on this one are pink pineapple, tropical rum, passion fruit, and ginger fruit, ginger fizz. Pour date of September 8th of 2023 on this one. This is nice. Very sweet, tropical rum punch type of fragrance. Now, I don't get like a rum note in here. I don't get any booziness at all. This is very, very sweet, but not cloyingly sweet. I was thinking of what fragrance. I have another fragrance in my collection that I think I might pair this with. Oh, I think I might pair it with um, Pink Sands from uh, Yankee. Very nice. I could also probably do a vanilla with it. It is a very sweet fragrance. So if you don't like really sweet fragrances, you probably won't like this one. Um, but I like it. Maybe a little bit lighter on cold than some of the other fragrances. But truth be told, this is one that I feel like if it were super, super strong, it might be headache inducing or cloying, but it's still noticeable. I will say all of these fragrances, you guys, I am personally noticing um, increased, like increased scent on cold from last year, even from like a year ago. So that does make me happy. All right, another fragrance that I've kind of had my eye on for a little while. This is coconut birch. So I love me some coconut fragrances in the summertime. It's probably like coconut and banana are probably the two fragrances that I will gravitate the most towards, especially come June, July, August. Summer seems to be eternal here in Arizona. Fragrance notes of coconut water, birch leaf, amber creme, and white patchouli, pour date of September 9th of 2023. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so... This to me is definitely like a perfumey coconut type of fragrance. Um, I would say it smells very sophisticated, 
but yeah, a perfumey take on coconut. I'm not mad at it. It's just, I don't think it's what I was anticipating it would be. I was thinking this would be more of like a, like the meat of a coconut fragrance. And that's not what it is. The white patchouli um, and the, whatever amber creme would be there. Um, maybe some birch leaf. It is kind of, it's not cologne -y. That's not what I would say. But it does have kind of a perfumey essence to it where I feel like the coconut, the coconut is there. It's nice. It's unique. It's just a different spin on coconut. I actually think that this fragrance will pair really nicely with the St. Bart's fragrance. I'm going to plan to burn those two together. Um, I do like it. I'm very curious to see what it smells like upon burn. Um, but yeah, on cold sniff, it's just, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more perfumey than I think I, I was anticipating. Still good though. Still a good one. All right. And finally, you guys, some of you may be like gasping when I tell you guys this. I have never had this candle in my collection before. And so many people have raved about it that I was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on it. I, I don't really think it was much of a chance. I mean, people love this fragrance. But for me personally, I have not always loved strawberry fragrances. However, things are changing and I'm finding that I, I've, I've had some success recently with some strawberry fragrances. Can you guess what fragrance this is? Farm Stand Strawberry. I have never had this candle before. So the fragrance notes on Farm Stand Strawberry are farm fresh strawberries, red raspberry, currants, lemon zest, crystallized sugar. Pour date of November 1st, 2023 on this one. And you guys, you weren't wrong. This is a lovely strawberry fragrance. I really like this. This is like juicy, authentic. Yes, like you just cut into a fresh strawberry. This is a really, really good version of strawberry. I think of the problem I've had with a lot of strawberry fragrances in the past is that they just come off too artificial to me. Um, I don't really like them mixed with um, like cake notes. Like I'm not a fan of like the, what is it? Strawberry pound cake and like all the strawberry scents that um, I don't even like the strawberry cupcake from Homeworks. I, I don't really like them. This I can get behind. Now, the reason I also felt like I could take a chance on this is because last year I ordered the um, Juicy Strawberry Reserve Candle from Kringle, and I really like that one. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, giving you guys a little combo, I'm probably going to be talking about this in my candle chat video later this week. If you have Kringle Candles Easter Brunch, which is that like um, flaky, buttery, croissant type of note, tiny bit of almond in the background, but that is definitely more of like a savory, bready note. Last week, I burned that with the Kringle Juicy Strawberry, and I can also see myself burning this strawberry fragrance with it. You will thank me later. You will thank me later. It is such a good combination. Oh, I, I and I'm typically the type of person, like, I get tired of a fragrance after, like, three or four hours, and I want to burn it out. I let that baby burn for, like, six, seven hours last week. It was so, so good. So, I'm really excited because I did purchase another one of those Easter brunch candles when they went on 50% at Kringle. And I'm excited to have this candle because again, I think this fragrance will pair not only well with Easter brunch, I also see that pairing really nicely with the vanilla bean ice cream. I just feel like it's a very versatile fragrance and I'm going to have some success with it. So like I said, this video, I'm so sorry, got to be very, very long. Let me know in the comment box down below if you happen to have participated in the National Fragrance Week. You guys, I've probably had this hair in my face the whole time and it's probably driven you nuts. Um, let me know if you guys participated in the National Fragrance Week. Did you guys purchase any new fragrances? Are any of these candles that you bought? Are you curious to see some burn reviews on these? Let me know in the comment box down below. I will tell you guys that um, I'm gonna touch on this next week in the candle chat, but because I am going on vacation for a week this month, um, I'm planning not to upload anything during that time. And so any reviews that I had um, uh, have coming up this week are candles that I've probably already been burning. I don't see myself getting around to at least getting to the halfway point of any of these candles. 
um, in time before I go on vacation for me to give you some dedicated reviews. But if you chime in down below and let me know what ones do you want to see some reviews on first, that will help me kind of prioritize. I'm getting into the time of year where um, I can kind of break free. I do see myself probably gravitating towards burning coral poppy and garden bouquet um, pretty soon here, just because those are slightly more floral fragrances. And I do like to burn those in the springtime more so than the summer, but, um, yeah, just chime in down below. If you guys want to see any dedicated reviews, you know, what, what ones are you guys wanting to see? I do always take that into consideration when I'm pulling candles into my monthly burn rotation. So thumbs up. If you liked this video again, Please don't feel bad if, um, you know, I know that this haul seems a little bit excessive and sometimes it's kind of weird coming on here and I never want this to be like braggadocious or anything. Like I said, a lot of you guys um, help by, when you use my discount codes, I do pour it back in. And also remember, um, I have a YouTube channel where I'm reviewing new candles and I also have to look at my own budget and say, hey, is that, um, I, I like to pick things up when they're on sale. And so this was the best opportunity for me to do so. And I'm really happy to have all of these in my collection, even though, well, at the end of April, it may mess up my candle collection totals. All right, I'm, I'm chattering on and on here. This video is long enough. I do want to say thank you so very, very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.